You're listening to Daily Manna Devotional. Thanks for stopping by. Great to have you here. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button with the notification bell turned on. You can also hit the thumbs up buttons if you feel so inclined. You can comment. You can shoot me an email at dailymanamedia at gmail.com if you got something personal you want to share or a prayer request or something that's going on in your life or you're just uh, lonely and sad and need somebody to talk to, whatever the case may be, shoot me an email. I'll hit you back as soon as I can um, and we can talk about it. The title today is God Feels What We Feel, Scripture. Through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because His compassion fail not, Lamentations 3.22. When I was a small boy, I thought of God as an old man with a long white beard. After all, hadn't Michelangelo and other artists painted him that way? Perhaps in my childish mind, I thought he resembled an old man in other ways also, somewhat feeble and harmless, not quite in touch with me and my problems. I never thought of God that way, personally. Uh, But I don't know that I've really seen too many paintings of God. I've seen a lot of Jesus. It seems like there's a lot of paintings and images and portraits of Jesus, of what people imagined he looks like. But I haven't seen too many of God, Uh, maybe one or two. I might have seen the famous one that they're talking about in this devotion by Michelangelo. I think that rings a bell. Uh, Maybe in the Sistine Chapel, perhaps? The roof? I'm not sure. Anyway. Uh, I'm getting off on a tangent there. Later, as I read the Bible, I realized that God is a spirit. He does not have a body, nor is he confined to one place, as a physical being would be. At the same time, he has the attributes of a person. He thinks, he speaks, he communicates, he loves, he becomes angry, he grieves. Because God is a person, he feels what we feel. No matter what we face, he understands what we're going through. He even understands our temptations for Christ has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet without sin. Hebrews 4.15 And that is why you can bring anything, anything to him in prayer, confident that he will understand, except for when your smartphone starts malfunctioning or won't connect to the internet. Uh, I don't know if you can understand that frustration. (laughs) But maybe you can. He can understand anything, so I guess he can understand that as well. He probably did not have to deal with smartphones back when he walked the earth, but uh, I'm sure he dealt dealt with uh, similar frustrations. Anyway, this devotion comes out of Hope for Each Day, a devotional by Billy Graham. Thanks for listening. Have a great, wonderful day, and as always, God bless.